Let's say we're asked to graph a whole bunch of these points. Starting with A, we're given the coordinates 3, 2. This means that we need to move 3 units to the right on the x-axis and then 2 units up on the y-axis. Remember that the x-coordinate always comes before the y-coordinate. For B, we were given the coordinates negative 2, 1. The first coordinate is the x-coordinate, the second coordinate is the y-coordinate. Since x is negative, we move to the left by 2 units instead of to the right, and then we move up by 1 unit because the 1 is positive. This gives us the coordinates for the point negative 2, 1. For C, we're given 3, negative 4. That means we're going to go to the right by 3 units on the x-axis, because 3 is positive, and then from here we're going to go down 4 units and get to 3, negative 4. Next, for the point D, we're given the coordinates negative 2, negative 3. Again, since x is negative, we need to go to the left by negative 2, and then we go down by 3 units to get to negative 2, comma, negative 3. This one is a little bit special. Negative 3, comma, 0 implies that we're going 3 units to the left on the x-axis, but we're not going anywhere up or down. So the point just resides on the x-axis itself. Similar but different, the point 0, 2 resides directly on the y-axis as we're not moving left or right. We stay at the coordinate 0 and then we move up 2 units in order to get to 0, 2. Lastly, the origin, the letter G, is just 0, 0. That means you stay right at the beginning and you don't move left or right or up or down.